Hello everyone, our topic is about living things around us. Okay, let's define what is living thing. Living things are things that are alive, for example, as humans, animals, and plants. They need food, water, and air to stay alive. We need those three to stay alive. Of course, we need food or else if we don't have any food, if we don't take any food, we're dead. Same as the animals, they need food. And for the plants, for example, fertilizer. Of course, they need that one. Next, water. We need water. If we don't take any water, then we're dehydrated. We're dead. Next one, air. We need air. That's the major thing. We need air, okay? Also with the animals and plants, they need air and sunlight. Next one, they have the ability to reproduce and give birth. Okay, for example, having children for humans and also for the animals, same as the plants. Next, and change on their own and respond to changes in the environment. Change on their own, for example, the light, the sound, the touch. So those are examples of changes in the environment. So now I'm going to show you some examples of living things that are plants. First one we have here, pomelo. Pomelo. Next one we have hibiscus. Hibiscus. Next we have here rose. Rose. So those are some examples of living things that are plants. Example of living things that are animals. Here we are. First one we have chick. Chick. Parrot. Parrot. Cat. Cat. So those are some examples of living things that are animals. I'm going to show you the characteristics of living things. You can see a girl here. The name is Ja'a. Ja'a raises a rabbit. The rabbit can move, jump, and change its position by itself. So like us, we can move, jump, and change our position. Second, the rabbit can eat food and drink water. Of course, like us, we can eat food and drink water. Third, the rabbit can remove waste. So like as humans, we can remove our waste. Fourth, the rabbit can breath. So like us humans, we can breath. That's why we need air. Fifth, the rabbit grows every day. So like us, we can be bigger or taller. Next one we have here, number six, the rabbits can reproduce. Reproduce means having children. So like us humans, we can reproduce children. Seven, the rabbit responds to stimuli. Okay, response to stimuli means changes in the environment such as the light, the sound, the temperature, and touch.